Hey guys, welcome to the sculpting video of the Fantasy Sword series. Uh, here I imported the, the models uh, in ZBrush and subdivided and now I'm gonna start working on the blade. Uh, I don't really have any specific um, design in terms of what kind of details I want. So you're gonna see me experimenting quite a lot like this uh, part now that I'm not gonna keep yeah right there so uh, this this part uh, should be fairly fairly short I believe uh, it took me about an hour to to finish the the sculpting um, I'm not gonna sculpt the middle part, the medallions, uh, because I'm not really sure um, if I'm gonna keep them or and what kind of uh, details I want uh, inside. So uh, here I masked, masked off the the middle part of the sword using uh, topological masking, and I inflated it a bit, and now I'm just going around and smoothing the the edges to make uh, easier transition uh, so after this we're gonna go straight into uh, uh, sculpting the details uh, I'm, I'm using the pinch brush uh, to sharpen up the edges not too much though because uh, pinch brush it can cause uh, troubles when baking so use it with caution it's it's a good brush but sometimes can be quite dangerous if you if you overuse it so here I added new subdivision level and uh, here sharpening the, the edges and I'm gonna go into the light box in a minute and uh, grab a custom brush that I downloaded from internet for uh, sculpting uh, oh yeah, here I'm gonna have a little trouble figuring out why uh, ZBrush uh, is loading my alphas strangely. So I'm gonna try a couple of things like stencils and stuff, but in the end I'm gonna end up using Photoshop, which is not uh, recorded on the video because uh, this would video would take forever. So I I went in Photoshop and I cleaned up the and I separated all the symbols that I found online into separate files so I can import them and just drag them around to create some cool uh, letters like and for some reason ZBrush almost crashed like 10 times during the recording so if you see if you see me waiting for update from ZBrush um, yeah, it's because I don't know why actually, <laughs> but I should check that out because it's not it's not good. And yeah, here I go with the the custom brush. It's a uh, Orb Crack brush, I believe. The name of of this you can find it online. It's free. It's very very useful for uh, making cuts like this. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna beat up the the blade quite a lot. I like to to uh, make it look like it's uh, heavily used. And here I'm adding like maybe scratches of an animal or something like a dragon or I don't know. So yeah, here you see the hanging part. So yeah, adding more details around the the edges making it look like a rough uh, uh, rough kind of uh, design I'm not looking for polished uh, I, it should be like brutal brutal used sword uh, so yeah that's kinda backup story in my mind and here switching off switching to uh, different subtools. I separated the, the mesh into three uh, three main uh, subtools the blade, the handle and the 
medallions in the middle. So uh, I so I can have a um, you know easier time subdividing and don't have to put a zillion geometry just to be able to pull pull off the details I I'm going for. And here I added a uh, quick noise in uh, noise maker. And yeah, so here adding a little bit of a little more of those uh, letters for detail on the upper part of the blade. I'm working off symmetry now just to break, the, you know, visually break the, the surface. Uh, for some reason, the upper part of the sword, the handle. Uh, the, the Y symmetry was not working so I'm gonna sculpt the front part and then I'm gonna go in Zebra in Photoshop after I bake the textures and I'm gonna just duplicate it uh, and move and flip the the map to, to the other side so here I'm gonna use masking to uh, create some custom uh, shapes for detailing, which I'm gonna uh, sculpt. Yeah, now um, after after I sculpt, I uh, yeah after I sculpted this, I decided to make it like pinched in the middle and uh, fade out and blend with the with the rest of the handle. So as you can see here, so I'm smoothing the the edges and leaving the middle part raised, and then I'm gonna go with the clay polish, and I'm gonna clean up the the edges a little bit. So here I'm using Move Topological, and there you go, ZBrush. Thing, uh, yeah, with Move Topological, and I. I <coughs> raised the the surface because the the surface uh, below was uh, penetrating, and here with edge uh, polish and with trim dynamic, I'm just cleaning out the shapes, making it look all good, and we're almost done with the with the video here. So yeah, I'm just gonna add a little more cuts and bruises to the to the handle. And we'll be wrapping this off pretty quickly. Uh, I'm not going to show the baking part. I believe it's very straightforward. I'm going to use um, Multimap Exporter plugin. So I'm going to use vector displacement maps and normal maps as well as cavity for texturing. So yeah, I hope you like this part. Um, I'm going to try to do. Uh, rendering video in Maya if I have time I'm not promising anything so yeah uh, thanks for watching and take care